Good afternoon, Pro Martial Arts St. Charles. I'm Mr. Moreno, and I'm bringing you here today our first edition of our Tuesday Tips. Um, one of the things that we always do here at our school is we want to make sure that our programs are always working at the highest level, and we're working towards giving you the best training that's, a pop, that's possible. Um, and it's not just for our students, but it's also for our parents as well. We've had the question many times here is that what can I do at home as a parent that's actually going to help my child learn and be able to take the principles that we, that we practice here on the mats to the home so that they can continue with their training. So here with this new series on our Tuesday tips, that's what we're going to do is we're focus is going to be helping you guys with training your little rhino and training your basic student, even your teen or even the adults at home, working on the techniques that we do here and strengthen them at home as well. Well. And this, in turn, is going to give you um, a much better result as you're going through the learning process. So, in just one second here, we're going to focus in on our very first tip. Thank you for watching. Okay, so here we are at our Tuesday tip for the week. Um, we're going to be focusing on the roundhouse kick, or also known as Toyo Chuggy. The roundhouse kick is, is very interesting because it doesn't go directly into um, the intended target. It actually has to come around. And I'm going to show you here on our heavy bag and what exactly that looks like. So here I'm going to be demonstrating um, our roundhouse kick and we're going to be utilizing a couple different uh, impact points when it comes to our legs here. So I'm going to be demonstrating here on the bag. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to get into my fighting position. First, I'm going to show this from many different ways. I want you to see this from that point of view of what's actually taking place. I'm not actually going to be kicking here to the center of the target, but I'll be utilizing the sides. And that's the reason why it's called a roundhouse kick. So when I'm here and you're focusing with your students at home, you want to make sure that their body is coming around in order to hit the intended target. So as that body comes through, there delivers that kick. Again, you see the rotation of my body. So again, if I do this on the opposite side, left side, rotation. If I change the impact point, instead of using the ball of my foot, which would be the ball here, is I actually would use the top of the foot here and give more of a slapping motion. And you can tell the difference, especially when there's the impact. As I go through, same thing on the left side. Now, I'm going to show this from a sideways position as well. So, I want to show the impact point here as I come through, all the foot, or using that top of the foot of the laces here. I can also allow the shin to make more of an impact, and the foot still kind of makes that contact on there. So, parents, if you're at home and you're utilizing the, uh, the kicking paddle, of course, that you will find in your basic equipment package. You'll actually hold that with the teardrop facing down. That way they get a good slapping motion on that target. Okay, so I'm gonna show that again one more time, the Toyo Chagi roundhouse kick. Ball to foot. In step. Ball to foot. In step. One more time from the side view. Ball to foot. In step and through. So that's our series right now with, of course, the uh, Toyo Chagi roundhouse kick. I'm also going to show you real quick is how we can work on balance, and this is very, very interesting because although although this kick it is a lot of fun to do, um, sometimes it can be very difficult to do. So we want to make sure that not only are you getting the important. Uh, technical aspect of it, but you're also having fun when you're doing it. So, just in just uh, in just a second here, I'm going to show you what you can do to kind of liven that up when you're at home. Okay, parents. So I'm back here again to show you what you can do at home um, that can work on balance um, and can also make it a little bit fun out of at, out of the ordinary day training. So what I have here for for you guys is a very simple tip. I'm going to be using a chair here, but you notice this is one of the chairs, I just pulled it from the lobby. I'm going to show you right now what you can do uh, for yourself, what you can do for your rhino, what you can do for your basic student, your teen, um, to work on their balance and help them with, of course, the actual technique of Toyo Chagi, the roundhouse kick. So let's take a look. So basically what I'm going to do is I'm going to use this chair as a support for me, so I'm going to turn it around real fast. 
And all I'm going to do is I'm going to stand up nice and tall. I'm going to take my hand and I'm going to rest it here at the top of the chair. As I rest it on the top of the chair, that allows me to be able to uh, uh, get balance lifting up my leg to deliver that kick. So I can start from here, I can even get into a fighting position. So all I'm going to do is just bend my knee. As I bend my knee, this brings it to the action point. This is what we call loading. So I want that leg to be right here. And then it turns over. As it turns over, that's when I extend out using the ball of the foot. Or I can extend out using, of course, the laces. This allows me to work on so many different levels. Because I can bend the low, middle, and then even high. Same thing, low middle, high, and you utilizing the different contact points when it comes to the foot. All I do is turn right around, I face the opposite direction, and again, same thing. I can attack low, middle, and high. Same thing, low, middle, high. And this is one of the ways I do it. Also work with the chair here facing this direction. You notice here, I'm placing my hands, and I'm lifting my leg, I'm getting that rotation, I'm extending out, and this is really good here for me to just work those reps over and over and over. I can change it going low, okay? Definitely working both sides of the body. So again, having a little bit of fun with it, um, utilizing some, some things at home, as well as, of course, um, the paddle that you have in your basic equipment package. Um, Again, every Tuesday we're going to be coming to you guys with a tip in training. Don't miss it because during this entire week, uh, we're going to be working on Toyo Chagi, our roundhouse kick. So, I'm Mr. Moreno for Pro Martial Arts St. Charles, and look for us every Tuesday for your tip. Have a great one.